Hello and welcome back to another beautiful puffy cloud day in Thailand and it's a very special day because I got this in the mail. It is the EN Noid battery management system for small uh, lithium cell packs. I'm going to um, build up a pack with this or two or three and so let me give you the details. So here it is. It's called the EN Noid. N Noid? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But it's a little bit smaller than my hand, which I was pretty impressed with. It's very compact. There's the name. It's got circuitry on the back and the big stuff on the front and a bunch of connectors and battery terminals and input and output posts. This is very, very impressive. And it's basically the thing that I would have designed if I had the knowledge and the skill. <laughs> this hits every single aspect of a battery management system that I was looking for. So this is the heart of it. And I bought three altogether to make three modules. And you can also get accessories like these really sweet on-off buttons, the uh, thermistors for temperature sensing, uh, pre-built cables, and a tiny little display that shows all the critical information that's driven by the board. Um, this is just going to be the first intro video to my master plan because I'm driving to the airport in two hours and I can't play with it. Uh, so we will pick up on this upon my return and start building real battery packs again. Welcome to the future. I've now flown to America and have been in Nashville for almost two weeks. A quick update. The granddaughter is two days from her due date. I've got my first Pfizer jab and the Tesla Model Y I ordered is somewhere between Fremont and Nashville with a projected pickup date of September 13th. I'll take it straight to a detailing shop for paint protection film, ceramic coating and window tint before I start the road trip. Now, back to the Ennoid BMS to discuss the board in more detail. As I said earlier, this is the BMS that I would have designed myself. I've searched around for 72-ish volt battery pack management systems for my 2170 lithium cells for a long time. I'm staying away from the Chinese junk because I just don't need a fire as I'm charging or riding down the road. I found several open source projects that seem to have stalled out and a couple of real products that really don't do what I need. Here's my list of requirements. Use the analog devices LTC 6813 BMS chip, which are currently impossible to find in stock due to the global chip shortage. Highly accurate voltage and current measurement during riding and charging safe cell balancing, multiple temperature sensors, highly configurable with high and low limits to prevent damage to the pack, a well-documented software protocol to read out all of the relevant data, compact and easy to include in my pack design, and open source software is a big plus. My searches eventually led me to the Ennoid BMS system. The owner designer Kevin offers three units. The BMS Gen 1 unit is for large battery packs. It consists of a controller board and multiple module boards. The HV model can do 100 to 400 volts, and the LV model can do 30 to 150 volts. The module boards can do 12, 15, or 18 cells in series. The BMS SS unit is for smaller battery packs and offers 15, 18 and 24 series cell options, along with 24 to 104 volt capacity. 
And finally, the BMS SS light unit, which is based on the BMS SS unit, but does not contain a pre-charging circuit or main fuses, and is suitable for designs that handle those issues separately. The Gen 1 unit offers USB and CAN bus ports, while the SS and SS light units add an I2C port. This gives a lot of flexibility for configuration, firmware update, and real-time data extraction. Given my needs of a fully featured low voltage pack, I've selected the BMS SS board. Kevin was super responsive to my questions and guided me to this model. In order to make the first module for the pack, I'll tweak my 3D model of the 2170 18 cell pack brackets to include mounting points for the BMS SS board and then print them out on my 3D printer. Then I'll insert the cells, weld the nickel strips, mount the BMS SS board, and wire up the required pack voltage, cell voltage, and temperature sensors to the BMS SS board. I still need to extract the data and display it on my Android tablet app, so I'll design an ESP32 board to collect the data from the eventual multiple parallel BMS SS units in the full battery pack, collate the data, and transmit it over Bluetooth to the app. This will drive the gauges and finally give me true real-time data with far more accurate energy consumption information than the average value that I have hard-coded in the app today. Now I'll know if I need to charge soon due to things like riding at high speed or using the headlights at night, or if I can get a few more days of riding before I need to charge up. I can also add code to automatically detect and handle a charging session and set the values internal to the app accordingly. But all of that will have to wait until I return to Thailand in December. I've waited a very, very long time to get to this point, so a couple more months isn't going to kill me. Stay tuned for a series of videos as I progress through the design, construction, and testing of the 2170 base pack for my electric scooter. Hey, if you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my other content, I'd appreciate a subscribe. Take care and see you next time.